All right, what's up guys? This is Tank Twank, and um, this video is going to be what, in my opinion, the best spot to spawn in Predator Plant is. So, in my opinion, best operator for this map is Thermite, and spawning at front service entrance is the best. Main entrance, you tend to get spawn camped. Uh, reporter entrance, it's alright, I guess. It's not as bad. But, uh, front service entrance, in my opinion, has the, I Ready guess, most um, opportunities. Secure. For example, you could go out the back that way and repel up that or go in the back just that way. You can go up to cockpit or um, go straight to the um, straight to the luggage hold. And from here, if there's someone spawn camping, which most of the time they will be, you can either shoot them if you get a shot or you can chuck a grenade up there. And Basically, my grenade throwing skills are totally on point, um, but you get the whole gist of that. Um, now, in this case, the hostage is in luggage hold, so basically, this spot is just showing like how many opportunities you have with it, and obviously, don't ever peek this spot like this, ever. This is just uh, for demonstration purposes, and um, you can get the hostage going this way. And uh, most people know about that, but if you don't, um, there you go. And you can just continue to get the host that way. And during this recording, I found out that it does not matter how many times you down a hostage. Um, it's pretty crazy. You can down him as many times as you want. And uh, that's basically what I'm doing right here. Like, I was just testing it out. And um, it was pretty crazy, like I didn't expect it to work so many times. Twenty minutes later. And right here I was um, also testing if you can shoot him in the face, which appears you can, so in my opinion, why not give the hostage the weapon if he can't die? It's very hard to kill him, not really, um, but you can down him so many times. And um... In this scenario, um, I am going to say that there's either an enemy in cockpit or the actual place was in, um, I don't remember which uh, room it is. The, it's the one other than a uh, meeting, and yeah. So basically, this I like this spot the most, in my opinion, because you don't have to break any barricades to get into the plane. And also, what I'm about to um, do is just scout out the area with drones, because a lot of people know about this. And um, sometimes you'll spot some people uh, roaming in this area to try to kill somebody. But um, don't worry about that. If you drone it out and find somebody, um, I guess you'll know they're there. So you can probably kill them. And right now, what I just did was the silent drop. And if you don't know what that is, it's basically where it's a lot quieter than your normal drop. And uh, I'm going to show you an example of a normal drop and then the silent drop. So right here is going to be the normal drop. And a lot of people hear that noise and they're attracted to it. So basically what you want to do is as you're dropping down, you got to hold um, the lay down button and then it creates... A much more quiet uh, drop down and I use that every time I drop down even if there's nobody around I just do that for uh, just cuz it's embedded in my brain and uh, now if you're working your way up to cockpit what you want to do is um, basically lean and check around every corner listening for enemies because like I said there could be enemies um, just like anywhere in these corners because there's a lot of places to hide up here um, and that's just in my opinion, like, I have never done it myself, but I have been killed by people that were hiding in these walls. And, uh, basically, that's how you get up to cockpit. And, um, that is why I like front service entrance. And that is also why you can just get to so many places from going up that spot. It takes a lot longer, but it's a lot safer as well. And... I think I've experienced this one time, an enemy was sitting right next to the stairs right here, and that was a uh, bad time for me, he snuck up right behind me. And in this case, um, 
the hostage was in the meeting room, and right there, many people know about, but still have to watch out for, is a very popular kill hole. And just watch out for that. Always pre-fire it if there's a hole there. And um, right here is a breach spot that people aren't allowed to reinforce for some reason. And it also gives you a pretty clear sight into the room. The only uh, thing that blocks it is uh, the corner of the room to your right. And I have actually had somebody get greedy and it was a one on one. And right through that hole I was able to secure that kill. And for the defenders for this map, I like to use Castle, um, mainly because most of the time you have your teammates not knowing what to do with Castle. And if you're going to take the greedy approach where you try to spawn camp, look through the window first. You don't want to just rush out and die. I've had teammates do that. I have done, I've done that myself and died many times. Um, and also, as an attacker, um, just watch out for that. And uh, this is actually um, a not very popular spot to defend. Um, and reason B is because it's so open and there's so many entrances. Um, so basically, if you're castle, um, there's so many ladders that you can drop down from. From the uh, If they went to front service entrance, they would be able to drop right through that hatch right there. And they have so many entrances in, into this room. So basically, you want to castle off every entrance possible. Uh, that has a ladder or any hallway really so um, basically what I like to do is I like to castle this off right here um, and also this right here because this is a ladder and people like to be in that room and sometimes you won't notice them but um, basically if you castle those two that's pretty good and basically if you have a glass on the other team look how much space he has to look in this room um, in case you didn't know glass can shoot through the windows on the plane and you cannot um, but however when he does shoot a hole through a window you can shoot back at him however I would not suggest doing that because he sees you a lot better than you see him and um, if you're gonna be in this room anywhere I suggest being in this corner if you have a shield because it's a pretty defendable area you only have one area of um, where you really have to cover and it's this door mainly and um, you pretty much have cover from most of your body which is pretty good um, this door is it could be annoying yeah might work out in your favor but if there is a enemy in that door they won't really expect there to be a shield with a person here so if there's a hole just like that and they broke it you could probably get them so if you enjoyed the video um like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys later